pool opened this holiday weekend for the first time since a teenager drowned there last summer. News 18's Holly Campbell reports it's also the first time the pool has operated under a new set of standards set by the city following the incident. Uh, Saturday we brought in about 40, uh, Sunday about 50, and Monday 70 uh, swimmers in all. Memorial Day at the Frankfurt Pool was a success. It was the first time the pool saw swimmers since the drowning of 15-year-old Adrian Alanis in July. It was also the first time the pool opened under the new set of standards set by the city last year. Those changes included a new emergency action plan, Ongoing training with lifeguards in a minimum of three lifeguards on duty at all times. Parks Superintendent George Belmore says aquatic management now oversees the function of the pool. Their main responsibility was the hiring process and getting the lifeguards and getting the management. And our responsibility on the city end is to prepare the pool ready for them to use. With the management company's experience, Belmore says he's confident staff will be ready for any situation. This firm out of Indianapolis handles pools all over the country. And so this is safety is their number one concern, and they take that very seriously. Working very closely with the lifeguards so that they understand their importance. With pools across the Midwest dealing with a shortage of lifeguards, Belmore says aquatic management will also work to ensure there are enough eyes on the pool at all times. We have learned in the past how difficult it is to get um, lifeguards and to get pool managers to oversee the pool for our summer months. So uh, they have also have the ability to bring in lifeguards from Indianapolis as well if there should be a shortage here. The Frankfurt Pool opens for the season Friday. Holly Campbell, News 18.